Operator overloading in Python allows you to replace the functionality of numeric operations such as the plus sign for addition, minus sign to subtract, asterisk to multiply, and the forward slash to divide. And you can do that by writing your own method that will replace what these operators can do. For example, if you write an, a double underscore add double underscore method, that will replace the functionality of the plus operator. So anytime you're using that plus operator, it's going to, instead of just like adding two numbers together or doing what it normally does, it's going to do whatever you put in that add method instead. And you can also use the built-in isInstance method to handle different object types for the operation. And the table on the right shows you all the different methods that you could write to replace certain types of mathematical operators or even logical operators. And all these methods are surrounded with the double underscores. So there's the add method to replace the plus sign, sub for the subtraction uh, minus sign, mul, mul for multiply, true div for the divide symbol, the forward slash, floor div to replace the double forward slash, which is floor division. Mod replaces the modulus operator, which is the percent sign. There's pow to replace the exponential on um, double asterisk. There's the and to replace the and operator, or for the or logical operator. Abs for the absolute value. That's that abs method. There's the int for the converting, say, a string to an integer method. And the float to convert a string to a floating point number method. So you can write any of these methods and it'll replace the functionality of what it typically does and how it normally behaves in Python. So let's take a look at an example of how to do that and we'll do that with the add method. Okay, in the example we saw in the previous video, we have this person class, we have a constructor in there, we have, we overloaded the str method to return a string when you try to print out a person object so it prints a person out in this formatted way. And we have two person objects, person one and person two. These are instances of the person class. And there's Kanye West and Joey Biden. So what we're gonna do next is overload the add method. So let's do that, let's do that right here. So you just type def, double underscore, and then notice that in PyCharm, it gives you a list of all the options of things that you could overload. There's add, let's put that in there. All right, so let's add up their total weights of two people. The calling object is going to be self.weight plus the object that we pass to it is going to be other.weight. And we could just return that. Return that value. Alright, there we go. It's as simple as that. And now let's add up the weights of let's see total weight of person one plus person two. That's all I gotta do, and, it, and although I'm using this plus operator, it's only adding their weights. It's not adding the objects together in any other way except adding their weights together and returning it, and then when it returns it, it assigns it to total weight. So now let's try this out and print out total weight. Print total weight. Oops. There we go. And let's see if that works. So the sum of 203 and 204.45 is 407.9. So that worked. And the way that we can use that is instance method is that this other that we're passing to this add method, we want to make sure that it's actually a person object. So let's do this. If is instance other, and we want to make sure that that's a person instance, then we'll return that weight. Otherwise, we'll return, return zero. Let's just return zero. And let's run the program. It should work the same way. No issues there. But but if you were to add person one to, let's say, car one and try to add those weights together, it's, it's not going to work because it's expecting that other object to be a person object. So it creates a little bit of validation in your overloaded methods. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.